Um, it is a review of a lot of the illnesses and conditions that we covered in 32, 33. We'll also go into um, we'll go into uh, chapter 35. Um, looking at speech and language disorders. So this is where we'll look at apraxia.
this is actually my first time talking to you so i actually finished online school um i just finished spending time with the lord um i'm just gonna share what i have learned while my food warm up in the microwave um i've been reading timothy for the past few months now um and i decided to go back to chapter one because i'm still i'm changing chapter two but it was just on my mind to go back to chapter one this morning um so i'm reading first timothy one and i re went back to chapter one and in this it's just amazing how oh uh, after paul came to know christ paul was consumed by the desire to share the good news of christ's work with as many people as possible not only that but Paul felt especially burdened to preach a gospel where it had never been shared. Romans 15 verse 20. We know from Acts 13 to 1 and 21 to 16 that Paul was on three missionary journey planting church in Asia Minor and Macedonia before his arrest in Jerusalem. Acts 21 verse 27 to 36 and eventually transported to Roman to stand trials despite of these trials paul remained steadfast in his commitment to preach christ where there were not yet any churches the beauty of the gospel captivated him to the point that he willingly sacrificed his own safety that others might hear it's so amazing how because reading this it makes you want to do in reading this it just shows you how like once you start walking with the lord that there is it's gonna be changed like things that you never normally want to do you realize that you start want to do it um and this really really encouraged me because after reading chapter one downward about paul and just to see how this man was just so eager to share the gospel so eager to to let persons know that know the truth you know he was so eager to do these things and it just encouraged me as you as i continue to walk with the lord to continue to share the gospel because you know you never know who who are watching you or you never know whose life you're inspiring um and sometimes you'd be like you would think that person doesn't care or you feel like person is not listening but that one thing that you says can lead that person to christ um and it's just amazing how paul it's just amazing how god is using how god uses paul in this text um, I kind of me meditating on the first passage, so I won't get in detail details. But guys, I literally passed my exam. I must say, we didn't have indoor class today or in-person class today because of some. I don't really know what happened, but we had online. We don't normally have online classes, but we had it today, and we had to do our test online too. Um, as you guys know i haven't been really posting as much um anymore and as you guys know that i have posted some video of me going to jamaica so i'm gonna get into details about that right now so reason being i haven't been posting that, that much is because you you all know that i'm going to school and i'm just trying to balance my school youtube and just everything my walk with the lord and just everything and some days i some days it's it's a lot um and i have to remember that like as much as i want to post like my school is very important and yeah so but videos will be coming soon i'm just trying to get my schoolwork and stuff done you could see that i went to jamaica so i had a lot of backlog work 
to finish and it was just a lot it was just crazy like had so many breakdowns but i'm not gonna even get into that um for all of you guys who haven't know why the reason why i've been to jamaica because i just stated it a trip to jamaica and ma has passed passed away and my mom and i went back home for the funeral it was okay but you know like this is not something that you would want to celebrate but that is something that is what should say is sure that is something that you can't really change anything about you know um so that was the reason for my trip back home it wasn't like i went for no vacation because it wasn't a vacation it was just for a funeral i had couple i had like one week in jamaica but like yeah and it was just amazing because i really get that time to kind of meet back my siblings have fun with them and like you know just it's just amazing when you're with your siblings it's just amazing when you're around your siblings it's just amazing when you go back home to really to go back home to your family because yeah that bad and that love is just amazing but yeah school is going good my grade is going good too also my walk with the lord is also my walk with the lord is going good um <coughs> i'm kind of still recovering because i haven't feeling i haven't been well since the past weeks so i'm kind of recovering from i don't know what is this if it's a flu but i know it's not covid i don't know what it is but i'm just i'm still recovering from this like i literally lost my vo voice last week i couldn't speak at all sorry my voice was going <coughs> So I'm still under the weather stripes. I am healed. Um, so yeah, currently now I'm kind of chilling. I'm gonna have something to eat. And then I'm gonna meet up with my friends for outreach because we always have outreach on Fridays. And then after outreach, we're planning to have a little fellowship. So it's gonna be a long day. So right now I'm just gonna get something to eat. After that, I'm gonna kind of relax a bit because I kind of feel tired and sleepy. But yeah, maybe watch a movie. Yeah, I think I'm gonna watch a movie. But I'm gonna just get my food and I will be right back. So, as you all can see, having my cup of tea, I got this cup from London. I have this cup when I actually went to my cousin grandma she gave me this cup it came with a saucer it's so cute I'm not a tea person but I have to be drinking tea and of course I'm, yikes and of course I'm having some curry chicken with some rice and peas and of course I'm gonna add ketchup to it because i'm a ketchup girl i put ketchup in it except soup i put ketchup in everything <sighs> but yeah chop chop um i'm going to watch a movie so i will set you back later when I'm getting ready to go to outreach. So peace for now. Peace. So guys, my Amazon package has just come. Just came, so I'm gonna pick it up. So come on up with me. So guys, my Amazon package just got here. Um, I bought a wig stand because I wanna, I wanna take my business to the next level. So I wanna get very serious about doing hair and also installing wig. So I buy a wig stand. I already have the mannequin over there where I put the wig on. So now I actually want a stand so I can put it on to pluck the, the wigs and other styles. So 
I'm gonna unbox that later. For now, I'm just gonna chill and I think I'm gonna look for my clothes for outreach and then take a shower. But for now, I'm just chilling because it's 4.48 now, so it's still early. So I'm just gonna look for my clothes and then chop chop. Mm -hmm.